Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. People of God, this is another wonderful day that God has given us. We should rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning to you all, wherever you're watching from. I want you to put on your hammer. Yeah, put on your hammer and hold on to your guide. Before we start, I want you to know that prayer and Bible reading goes together. Because one is not complete without the other. We first take our Bible prayer point with, from the book of Romans 7, verse 15. The book of Romans chapter 7, verse 15. And I'll read it to 16. For I do not understand my own action. For I do not do what I want. But I do the very thing I hate. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it is good. Moving down again, I go down to 17. So now it is no longer high who do it, but sin that dwells within me. Let me take it down to 18. For I know that nothing good dwells in me. That is in my flesh, for I have desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. <laughs> Interesting. Down to 19. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep on doing. 20. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer how I would do it, but sin that dwells within me. Children of God. This takes us to what? The power, the same power. The same power. I want you to believe that there are some power that makes people to do things against their own will. You see many people, they have desire to do what is right, to do the good thing, but they'll find themselves doing the bad thing. Many people have desire, desire. To do the good thing, but they'll find themselves doing the bad thing. Because of what? Sin power. Join me as we pray. Let us ask God for forgiveness of our sin. Whichever way we must have sinned against him, let us ask him for forgiveness of our sin. Father God Almighty, we ask you, O oh Lord, for forgiveness of our sin, O oh Lord. Whichever way we must have sinned against you, Father, forgive us all our sin in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sin that we must have sinned against you, knowingly or unknowingly, whichever way we must have sinned against you through our attitude, our character, whichever way we must have sinned against you through the word of our mouth, Father, forgive us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, forgive us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sins of our forefathers, Father, forgive us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sins of our forefathers, Father, forgive us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whichever sin was a sin against you, sins that our parents are sin that we are suffering for, Father, forgive us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sin that our community leaders have sinned that we are suffering for, Father, forgive us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whichever way we have sinned against you, knowingly and unknowingly, Father, we ask for forgiveness, O Lord. That son of David, have mercy upon us. 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 Let your mercy speak for us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your favor locate us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your mercy speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your favor locate us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, O Lord. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Every sin power over our life. 
every sin power over your career, every sin power over your marital life, every sin power over your spiritual life. I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sin power over your life, over your career, over your finances, over your marital life, over your spiritual life, right now by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be broken. 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 I command them to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power, every power that is holding you, that is holding you against your will, every power that is holding you against your will, that is holding you against your will, whatever the power may be, be it in your hair, be it in your eyes, be it in your mind, be it in your tongue, be it in your ear, be it in your hand, be it in your feet. I command it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes. The book of Philippians makes us understand. He said at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. At the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever power, whatever power that is holding you down, whatever power that is holding you down, be it from your father's side, be it from your mother's side, be it from your community, whatever power that is holding you down, generational causes, family I do, I decree right now by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the power to be bruised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the power to be bruised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the power to be bruised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the power to be bruised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the power to be bruised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the power to be lost in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the power to be lost in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the power to be lost in the mighty name of Jesus. Help! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Let me lift your faith up one more time. That takes us to the book of Luke. To the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. Luke 10, verse 19. He said, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Hmm. 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 Yeah. He said, and nothing shall hurt you. Verse 20, he said, nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the Spirit are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. The people of God. He said, I have given you power to tread upon snakes and Scorpio, and all the parts of the enemies. Right now, I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, all the powers of the enemies tormenting your life, tormenting your career, tormenting your finances, tormenting your marital life, tormenting your spiritual life. I command them right now by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ
command in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? Begin to command them out. Command them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? Every power of the enemy tormenting your career, tormenting your finances, tormenting your health, tormenting your marital life, tormenting your spiritual life. Command them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? Command them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? Command them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? In your health, command them out in your kidney, in your tendon, in your muscle, in your bone. Command them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 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 Begin to command them out. Every power, every power of the enemy that is tormenting your career, that is tormenting your career, that is giving you a stagnancies. Every power of the enemy that is giving you a stagnancies. Begin to command them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to command them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help! 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 Begin to command them out. Every power of the enemy. Every power of the enemy. Because he said, I have given you power. He said, I have given you the authority. You have the authority in you. You have the authority. You have the power in you. You to tread upon them. To trample upon them. Now begin to trample upon them. Begin to tread upon them. Tread upon them. All the powers of the enemy. Tread upon them. All the snakes of the scorpion. Tread upon them. All the powers of the enemy. Tormenting your health. Be it in your feet. Be it in your leg. Every power of the enemy that is making you stagnancies. Every power of the enemy in your health, in your blood, in your food, in your tendon, in your muscle. Command them out. Command them out. Command them out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for commanding them out. Thank you, Father, for commanding them out. Every power of the enemy. Father, we thank you, Lord, for commanding them out. We thank you, Lord, for commanding them out. All the powers of the enemy. Tormenting our career. Tormenting our finances. Tormenting our spiritual life. Father, we thank you for commanding them out. We thank you for commanding them out. Heart of our life. Heart of our marital life. Heart of our finances. Heart of our spiritual life. Father, we thank you for commanding them out. All the powers of the enemy. All the powers of the enemy. Whatever the enemy must have planted in your body. Whatever the enemies must have planted in your body, be it physically, be it spiritually, whatever the enemy must have planted in your body, begin to command it out, begin to command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin to purge it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin to command it out, whatever the enemies must have planted in your body, be it physically, be it spiritually, in whichever way, whatever the enemies have planted in your body, I command it right now, by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to come out, 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 out. Out, 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 out in the mighty name of Jesus, right? Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the restoration. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the restoration. Pray, pray. Whatever the enemy must have planted in your marital life that is tormenting your home, that is tormenting your home, that is tormenting your home. For the Bible says that Satan has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the Son of Man has come to give life in abundance. Receive life in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive life in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your career, receive life in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your finances, receive life in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your health, receive life in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your spiritual life, receive life in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to excel. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every bodiness. Every bodiness. Every bodiness. Every bodiness. Every bodiness. I speak the word of authority. The word of authority. The word of authority and power. I speak it into your womb right now. I speak it into your womb right now. Receive the touch of God. 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 
Every fiber, every fiber begin to drop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to drop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to drop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to drop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to drop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every asthmatic pressure, every asthmatic problem, be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive your breakthrough. Breakthrough in your career in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your breakthrough in your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you go out, be blessed. When you come in, be blessed. You become a blessing upon your nation. Become a blessing upon your household. Become your blessing upon your household. Become a blessing upon your nation. Become a blessing upon your community. Everywhere you go, you shall be a blessing. Everywhere you go, you shall be a blessing. You shall be blessed when you come in. You shall be blessed when you go out. You shall be a child of blessing. You shall be a channel of shining light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 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 Receive the Holy Spirit of maintainers. The Holy Spirit of maintainers to maintain your blessing. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Lord. Thank you Father. Bless your holy name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you're here and you need to improve, or this is your first time, and you need to give your life to Christ, and you you've already given your life to Christ, you need to do, to do more to improve in your relationship with God. I need your heart here. I need your heart here. Be focused. Be focused. I need your heart here. Yes. You want to give your life to Christ? I need your heart here. Because you need to give your life to Christ. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross of Calvary for you and I. That is why we can enjoy what we are enjoying now. That is why we can have the grace. Children of God. Speak this along with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Make my heart your home. Dwell within me. Save my soul. Save my soul. Save my soul. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. You are my all in all. You are my comforter. You are my protector. You are my provider. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my soul. Give me the grace to always do what is right and to win more so for you. Give me the grace to avoid the trap of looking back and to keep moving on for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You welcome into the family of God. If you need any, any help in moving on in your new journey in working with the Lord, you can always reach out to me. We are all brothers and sisters, one family. We can always pray for each other, encourage each other more. Because if we look around us, a lot is happening all around us. A lot is happening. But people with God, because we know we are not alone. One with God is majority like majority. So we are not alone. 
we have a living God, the host of heaven is with us. So before I leave you all, let me pray this prayer as the Spirit of Lord have bestowed it upon me. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ. Every strange sicknesses, every strange diseases, I come against it by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Every strange illness, every strange disease, every strange sicknesses, tormenting people all over the world, I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that strange sickness, you that strange disease, be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be caged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the whole nation. East, west, south, north, the four cardinal points. The whole world at large. God, you are the God of peace. Father, let your peace reign upon the head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your peace reign upon the head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree calmness upon the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree calmness upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree calmness upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your reign of peace, let it reign upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your reign of peace, let it reign upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Let your reign of peace, let it reign upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your reign of peace, let it reign upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We pray for our leaders, oh Lord, all our political leaders. Father, we commit them all into your holy hand. Father, we commit them all into your holy hand. Father, bestow upon them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and the Holy Spirit of good counsel. Father, bestow upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bestow upon them the Holy Spirit of knowledge, the Holy Spirit of understanding, the Holy Spirit of wisdom, the Holy Spirit of good counsel. Father, bestow it upon all our leaders, all our political leaders. Father, bestow it upon them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bestow it upon them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bestow it upon them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Before I go, before I go, people of God, join me. Let us pray for the whole world. Let us pray for the whole churches all over the world. The whole churches, the whole ministers, the whole pastors, the whole evangelists, the whole prophet, the whole apostles all over the world. Let us pray for them. Father, we commit all our ministers, we commit all our, all our leaders in the, in the work of God, all our generous. We commit them all into your holy hand. Their ministry, their household, Father, we are family. We commit every one of them into the whole hand, oh Lord. You know what they are going through. You know their heart desire. Father, we thank you, Lord, for granting their heart desire according to your will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we take for granted their heart desire according to your will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All our ministers, some of them have a wayward child that they don't want them to be like that, that they're not proving what they are preaching. They're not showing what they are actually teaching others. But Father God Almighty, Father, we beg and plead on their behalf, O Lord. Father, deliver their children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, deliver their household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, deliver their children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, deliver their household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have some of our ministers, oh Lord, that are going through trials in their marital life. Father, see them through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, see them through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your peace reign in their marital life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have many of our ministers, oh Lord, that are going through finances, financial crisis. Father, bless them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your internal peace, let it draw within them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your internal peace, let it draw within them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your internal peace, let it draw within them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We thank you for your answer our prayer. We thank you for your put. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father.
We thank you for that parent woman. We thank you for your answer to our prayer. We thank you for your blessed out with a good baby. Go and write it down. I don't know. Whenever any time you're watching this, you've been looking upon the face of the Lord for a child. God has blessed you with the bouncing baby boy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the salvation of our soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name. We magnify you. We exalt you. We glorify your holy name. We give you thanks and praises. We exalt your holy name. We thank you, Father. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Children of God, I leave you here in peace and when we meet again we'll meet in peace in jesus name in strong as we keep fighting on as we keep soldiering on for the kingdom of god nothing will stop us nothing will ever stop us thank you god bless you we can always reach out to us if you need prayer if you need counsel we can always pray for each other you are because i am i have because you are god bless you in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 Thank you.